In this demonstration, I'll show how to do the Lab 6 preparation. I'll begin by opening the two files, Lab 6 Artist Starter.sch, and the other corresponding file, the Lab 6 Artist Starter.pcb. I will choose Lab 5 to import, so I'll open my solution to Lab 5 and disconnect the 1968 from my circuit. So I'll disconnect all the 1968 connections and just have my circuit. I will copy this file from here, copy, and I will paste it into the starter file for lab 6. Paste. I'm going to connect all, the, all these nets because they make sense to connect them in this application. When you do this, you probably won't see quite as many connections. All right. All right, so I've pasted the circuit from my lab 5 into the lab 6 starter. And then I'm going to save as lab 6, and I give it a name that I can remember with my name in it. I'll call it uh -oh, like Albano. And then I have to save both starter files, both the lab 6 SCH and the lab 6.pcb with the same name because they're connected together. Oh, all right. There we go. And then I can be very, very careful in my solution to close this without saving it because I messed it up. Okay, save, check. No. All right. The next step in the SCH is to connect the new old circuit with the new microcontroller. So in this case, we're going to connect up to an 811. And so we take the uh, transmit output here and tie it to the data input there. We take the frame select output here, tie it to the frame select input there. We take the clock out of here and we connect it to the clock over here. Okay. Now I like nice nets. If you look over here, I just created these um, four nets and I don't like them, so I'm going to rename them. This one here, I'm going to rename PA5. Okay, display, change net, PA5. This one here, I'm going to name PA3. And this one here, I'm going to name PA2. Change net name, PA2. Um, this way, I can visually see both during the SEH and the PCB file. Uh, what the names of these nets are so that I don't inadvertently make a mistake. Okay, change it. I'm not going to change it. Uh, display. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, the second change I got to do for doing lab five is I don't have five volts anymore. I just have 7.5 and 3.3. .3, so we have no more five volt signals. So I'll get rid of that and I'll replace the five volt power with a 7.4 volt power by changing changing this net right here, I'm going to change it into a uh, plus 7.5. There we go. And so this net here is 7.5, and it matches over here the battery input right here. Uh, after the battery switch, this uh, net right here is also 7.4 volts. So my battery will supply 7.5. 4 volts, which will power this audio amplifier. Almost done. Uh, since we have no switches anymore, i got to connect some switches. Uh, put them where you want. Uh, let's connect them. In this case, I'll connect them up to PB01 and 2. So I'll add a switch, and there's lots of switches. We can go on board or off board. Uh, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to go off board. Where's my off board switch? It begins with an O. There it is. Off board switch right there. I'm going to add it. And I've got uh, three of them. You can have as many switches as you want. Okay, no, no more switches. Done with the switches. So I'm going to connect the switches to port B. Uh, these are going to be negative logic with an internal pull-up. So I don't need any resistors externally. And I'm just going to tie one side of the switch to a port. I'll tie that somewhere. There's a ground nearby. Oh yeah, right there. 
I'm going to tie the other end of the um, switch to ground. And when I, if I were building this, uh, this will generate two little bumps on my PCB, and I'll wire the switch and solder the switch onto, uh, screw the switch onto the box. All right. And again, I don't like those uh, those nets, so I'm going to rename those nets. Click over here. Click right here. I'm going to give this an, a good, better name. Change net to PB0. Change net to PB1. Change net to PB2. All right. Just change net. PB2. All right. So now I've built the entire function for my new Lab 5, but it's going to be a PCB. The last step that I have to do for the preparation is to bring these changes forward, these design changes forward, into the PCB. And so what this did was um, added some nets, disconnected some this, and then um, connected all these pins together. That's kind of interesting. And so what I got is the starter file here, the beginning part, the during this part of the procedure, you'll wire all these connected up. Um, it has a, uh, the, there's the microcontroller, there's the crystal, a bunch of capacitors, the JTAG, the logic analyzer connector, and then up here are the pieces associated with lab 5, the the DAC, well, the amplifier, or well, the amplifier, a bunch of resistors, and the speaker somewhere. All right, so in terms of the responsibilities for, and then I'll save it, the preparation, uh, we're done. Uh, make a printout of this, uh, this file. It's two pages. Uh, this side over here is your circuits. This side over here is the microcontroller. Um, uh, crystal, capacitors, the JTAG connection, and the reset switch. Put your name over here so you don't look silly. All right. Put your name in here so you don't look silly. All right. Well, good luck. Have fun.